All right, we're back on the uh, 53 Dodge Pilot House. Uh, motor is at, still at the machine shop. So the next thing I want to tackle is I want to get the, the body off of this frame so we can get the frame uh, cleaned up. Just going to wire wheel it down, paint it uh, with a cab and everything's off. I'm going to go ahead and put new brake lines in and all that stuff, address the wheel bearings, front end and everything. Um, so first thing I'm going to start with is taking off these front fenders. Got uh, several boat bolts down here to take off. And after these fenders are off, that shouldn't be too bad getting that off. And then after that, I'm going to lift this bed off of it. Um, the fenders on it were actually welded to the sides in here. So I don't know if I want to try uh, the cut wheel and cut that off while it's still up here. Probably be a little bit easier to do it or go ahead and uh, disassemble the body itself and take it off that way. But anyway, um, let's get to it. battery box that's a homemade battery box anyway and it's uh, in a way that bolt so I'm just going to remove it if it'll let me It's a little hot. to get to that bolt. Got a couple more on the fenders and they should pop right off. Let the fun begin. All right, that's the front end off um, that right hand side, the passenger side, that fender. I had about four bolts that really fought me. Um, the left hand side, driver's side, that was maybe five minutes that came off. The other side, that took me about a half an hour, I think, because I had to cut some bolts off. And that's what happens when you, when you start messing around with these old vehicles with these rusty bolts. So next up is I want to get the bed off and then we'll start working on the cab. All right, it's probably been about two or three weeks since I took the front end off of this. Um, you know, things just happen, time goes by. But anyway, today, between the day and tomorrow, what the goal is, is to try to get the 
bed off and the cab off of it and get it stripped down to the frame pull the axles and everything else get it set up ready to um, uh, wire wheel down and paint the frame uh, it is a backyard budget build so uh, probably going to use rust oleum or something else it's not a professional job obviously but the goal here is to make it look good so I want to get you set up in a stand I'm going to start getting the bed and then trying to lift the cab off I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the doors off prior to lifting the cab up off of it All right, that's one side down, one more to go. It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. A um, Couple little snafus, but nothing major at all. So we'll go ahead and knock the other side out and then we'll get started on the cab. All right, so we got the bed off of it. Um, wasn't too bad getting that off. I actually thought those nuts and bolts was going to fight me a little bit more. So next I want to work on getting the cab ready. I'm going to take the doors off. The running boards i think i am going to just let them try to do it you know try to lift the cab without taking them off i'll take them off later i don't think that's going to be an issue but if you look at the green paint back here i really like this green paint the original color that was on it uh and i do want to paint that back to that original color uh, i want to t attempt to do it myself but how i do it i'm not sure yet um i'm thinking about maybe one of those blow up paint boost you can buy or even just if it's a nice day under a shade tree or something I just don't know yet and I, I have never painted anything before so I can't really tell how it's gonna come out but hopefully it'll be be pretty decent so anyway let's get ready to get this cab off just a little side note on these the glass that they used to use back in the 50s and earlier 
I'm not sure when they changed it, if it was the 60s or 70s, but anyway, this being a 53, it does not have tempered glass in it, and you can see how it's cracked in quite big pieces. And if you were in one of these uh, with this type of glass in it into an accident, I mean, this could do a lot of damage to you if it, you know, it, it broke out. It could really cut you up pretty good. But nowadays, it's a tempered. I don't know if you've ever seen one break, um, but they go into little tiny pieces, so it's not that bad. The windshield in this one, same thing. Um, nowadays, they're laminated, so if you hit it, they're not going to, they're not going to uh, cut you up as bad. Uh, a lot of good safety things have come down the road regarding glass and stuff. But anyway, just a little side note. Well, it wasn't pretty, but it's off. Had a little problem with that one bolt that snapped off in there, kind of jammed everything up. But on to the next one. Hi, doors are all doors are off. Uh, things are a little rusted in there, but a little persuasion it came out. And on to the cab. It's been a couple weeks since I've uh filmed that last clip you just finished watching. Uh, I've been getting tied up with other things, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the, the rest of this framework on hold till springtime because I don't have any room in the shop to pull it in. Um, the cab is unbolted. It's just sitting there. And one of the main reasons I think I'm just going to leave it like it is is because I don't have a platform or something to set it on at this time. And I don't really want to set it on the ground. Obviously, that's not a good thing to do. But meanwhile on the nice days we have had uh leaf duty have leaves over there another pile here and a large pile back over there you can't even see all of it so that's pretty much been taking up my time on the days that have been really nice instead of working on the 53 dodge so i'm going to cut this one right here uh the next video i mean i'm still going to have a couple of videos coming out hopefully during the winter the next one's going to be an update on the engine and then uh, a couple other things I have in mind to do in the shop where it's a little warmer. I have a little room for some smaller projects. But for the meantime, for the winter, this is just going to get covered up right where it's at. And that's just going to have to sit there to springtime. So that's going to be it for this video. Catch you on the next one.